Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and this is my HIV journey. You clicked on this video because you want to hear a story about when I was pleasing somebody and they shot all in my face. But you're going to have to wait until the very end of this video to hear that steamy, spicy story. What I wanted to share with you is something that you may have seen on social media and that's ways you can protect yourself against HIV and other STDs and STIs. Using a condom correctly each and every time you have sex is a widely used and successful prevention method, but it's certainly not the only one. So I wanted to share with you some other strategies. Drug interventions, treatment is prevention. Um, we found that if you're HIV positive, getting your viral load to where you're suppressed or undetectable is a way to protect your partners. So when we talk about treatment as prevention, that's what we're talking about. PrEP. You may have heard a lot about PrEP. PrEP is the use of Truvada as pre-exposure prophylaxis. Um, it's been proven to be as much as 72.9% effective in preventing infection when taken more than 70 or 90% or of the time. And you know, it, it, low side effects, there are programs to help you get it. I am definitely pounding the PrEP drum. In prep, if you've had an exposure, you can start in prep within or in PEP within 72 hours of being exposed or being believed to be exposed to HIV. And it's a series of antiretroviral drugs that you would take for 28 days following your exposure. There's more research going into rectal microbicides, um, and those trials are ongoing. And those uh, the studies are looking at things that can be applied to the anus or the vagina uh, to prevent inspection or infection. Female condoms, and this is something that's really hot for gay men as well, is a condom that's inserted either in the anus or the vagina. And so you, you, know, you might want to check into that. I know some gay guys that really swear by them and you can get them at most aid service organizations or organizations that hand out condoms. Rapid HIV testing. You can now um, get an HIV test in a matter of 10, 15, 20 minutes, very quick. Or you can go to your local retailer and get the OraQuick at home test um, to test as well. There's some new concepts that are out there in the community you may not have heard about. One's called sorting. And this is where a person says he or she will only engage in sexual activity, whether condomless or not, with a person of the same HIV status. In theory, this should be effective in preventing new uh, transmissions. However, there are some issues with it. This is certainly one strategy, so sorting. The next strategy is condom only or no anal sex. Um, and this category is pretty much self-explanatory, right? And it was found to be 74% effective in reducing HIV infections. The next one is seropositioning. Uh, in this risk reduction option, a man who has sex with men determines whether to be a top or bottom based on the other person's HIV status. Um, so that's seropositioning. And then finally, top only. That's pretty much self-explanatory. And top only during anal sex has been found to be 86% reductive in transmission according to a 2012 study. So I know you were wanting to hear a time or a story about a time I was servicing a big old wiener, but you're gonna have to wait for it. If I get enough shares, if I get enough clicks, if I get some comments below, I'll definitely share this story. So comment below, if you send me a message, maybe I'll send one back and tell you about a hot spicy time when I had a guy shoot right in my face. As always, my name is Aaron and until my next video, do something positive.